Today, I want to talk with you guys about something that social scientists call parasocial relationships. And I'm going to talk with you about the impact that you are having on your viewers in ways you probably don't even know. I just want to bring that to light for you guys here today. That's coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it is Wednesday, which means it's time to give you guys some YouTube tips, advice, suggestions, ideas, all that type of stuff. First of all, what is a parasocial relationship? Well, it's basically when one party knows a lot about the other party, but the other party knows basically nothing about this party. The most common form of these one-sided relationships are between like a creator or a celebrity or something and their fans and their audience. A lot of research has been done about the effects that these types of one-sided relationships can have on the fans and on the viewers and on the celebrities and the creators also, but I want to focus on the impact that we as creators might and probably are having with, without even realizing it on the people who are watching our videos. I personally am not an expert in this, but I do find the topic very fascinating. I love the psychology behind what happens in YouTube space and things, not just like the, hey, ask your viewers a question and ask them to subscribe. You know, like those are great things, but there's a lot more going on beneath the surface. And I like to dig in a little bit deeper to find out what's going on beneath the surface so I can actually understand what's going on and what's happening in the people's mind and actually then use that to spread messages to go further and impact more people than they otherwise would have. There's three primary ways that research says that parasocial relationships will impact uh, the fans or the audience. And of course, these things have a bigger impact on young children, pre-adolescent, young adolescent, you know, middle school type of demographic than it does like on mature older adults. But definitely do not underestimate the impact that these things have on older adults as well. So the first thing that parasocial relationships really form in fans and audience is actually their like the individual sense of identity. There's a couple different layers to this, but the main one to talk about here is that the research shows that there's this wishful identity identification that happens. Because these relationships often provide like the most idealized figure of the celebrity or the creator, often the fans then see that they can, they feel like they can have total acceptance by this person. There's no actual contact between the creator and the fan, so the fan can often envision like having complete acceptance without any sense of rejection or any feeling of unworthiness from this person. And because the fans cannot possibly know everything there is to know about the creator or the celebrity or who they really are, they start to fantasize some attributes and project those attributes onto the creator or the celebrity. Often just to shape that celebrity in their minds to meet whatever wants or needs that they personally feel. And often what happens, which is no surprise, is that the fans actually start to develop this image in their mind of what the creator is actually like that is actually very far removed from reality. And so what sometimes happens, which is mostly outside the control of the creator, is that the fans will start like personally to develop an identity about themselves based on what they believe about this person that they look up to, that they admire, that they respect. And whatever type of fantasized attributes they project onto that person, or maybe that person actually has, they bring it to like internalize and replicate. Even if they don't like, they're not, con no one's consciously doing this, right? Like it's all happening, happening subconsciously and their identity is starting, starting to be shaped by these people. The second thing that kind of goes along with it is that these celebrities or these creators also have a really big impact and influence on how people perceive themselves and what they believe about their own body image. And unfortunately most of the time it's a negative feeling that the fans of the audience feels about themselves because they're trying to live up to a standard that they feel like they see whether actual or not like it doesn't matter if it's actually reality it's just what they perceive. They're striving to live up to that. There's a lot of studies that really look into the, like lots of different la layers of this one is you know the body image part like how do people perceive their physical appearance or there's the social interaction like how do people perceive they are socially with other people based on what they see in like the creator or the celebrity and there's research done on how it affects women which has one impact versus men you know who are like respond differently but the overall like just to boil it all down to you like it's usually a negative approach because people typically feel worse about themselves and what they see in someone else especially someone who's like on camera on YouTube has a lot of subscribers, lots of comments, people interacting like you guys may have without no due to, due to no fault of your own like a negative impact on some of the people who are watching your videos. The third biggest influence that parasocial relationships have is on behavior. So if the celebrity is very negative then the traits of their audience become negative. If this person is very sarcastic then these people become sarcastic. If this person is degrading to women then same here. If they're honoring women you know you kind of get the you kind of get the idea. Some people would say well that's because 
Um, these people attract people who already are like that and already like that. That's why they're in the fans. But the research shows that while that does happen, there's a lot of what these people actually become like the person that, that they're following, that they look up to, that, that the attributes that they're projecting onto that person, like they start to try to identify with themselves and then they start feeling bad and, you know, the body image and the self, like that whole cycle starts happening. I know it might be easy to hear this and think that it really only applies to children and pre-adolescent teens, but that is simply not the case. The research shows that this these things do impact and influence mature, fully grown adults as well. And I can give you several stories of how I've seen that actually be the case, even right here on YouTube. So as a creator, a couple things for you guys. One, a lot of this is just outside your control. You can't help it, it just happens too. Think very deeply about how you're presenting yourself and portraying yourself on camera. I hope, and I know most of you guys are, you're presenting a very positive person. And I know a lot of you guys just aren't showing just like the awesome sides of you that are like really great and shiny, but also the parts of you that struggle and maybe aren't perfect and the mistakes that you make. We have probably a much bigger influence over people people's lives and their identity than we probably actually even realize or have thought of before. So be very aware that that's happening, but also take the audience that you're developing and the subscribers, like the viewers, take that very, very, very seriously. Because even if you don't feel like you have an intentional message that you're really trying to you know, put out there, just by being you on camera, you are communicating something, you are spreading a message, and even if you haven't like actually formalized and identified and are intentionally trying to promote that, which you definitely should. But even if you haven't, like just you by being you are still having an impact and making a difference in people's lives. What I want to hear from you guys about is what, one, just generally what you think about all this, but two, how does this maybe influence what you do on your channel or maybe that you don't do or maybe you're going to start doing something else or like how does this play into that? How are you using your influence and the parasocial relationships that you are building how are you using them? What's coming from those that you guys see? Comments below, wanna hear all your stories, that'll be awesome. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe. We don't often do as heavy stuff as this, but I think it's important to talk about it once in a while and this stuff kinda just comes to mind for me. Tomorrow is Thursday, so we will do, as always, some YouTube Q&A with you guys, answer some of your questions. On Tuesdays, we give you guys some YouTube news and talk about what's happening in the online video industry and the implications it has for us as creators. And then, like you saw here, I just give you guys some rants and ideas on uh, Wednesdays about YouTube stuff. So that is all coming up. I'd love to have you subscribe. I do all this because I really believe that a lot of you guys have messages that can really change people's lives and influence them. And this is like we just said, like all this is part of that. And part of how I can help you guys do that is not only helping you maybe think through some of this stuff, but also giving you the training to help people who need to hear what you have to say, like to have them so that they can find you and hear what you have to say so that their lives can be impacted and changed as a result of them subscribing to your channel. So thank you for letting me be a part of helping you guys build your audiences and your channels and your online communities here. Subscribe, and I will see you guys again tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.